what's new with the ARC server launcher and admin codes up next. Hello everyone and welcome back to another fantastically short tutorial in 10. I am your host, The Therapy Gamer, and in this video we are going to be covering the updated Arc Server Manager, or now it's called Arc Server Launcher, and those pesky admin commands for your personal private Arc Server. First off, you guys, to get this out of the way, if you have not checked out the previous video for creating the private Arc Server and port forwarding, then do so here in... Uh, one of these little annotation bubbles as it pops up here and please 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 if you have any comments in regarding port forwarding or how to set up the server in the first place be sure to check that out and leave a comment on that video that way we keep everything nice and organized and everyone's happy alrighty you guys first things first we're gonna jump right on into the arc server launcher and check out some of the fun new stuff that's available on this. As you can see, it's a brand new uh, white and blue background, gorgeous looking little app that they that they've come up with here now. And to start off with, this is the this is the first screen that you're gonna get. You're gonna see uh, server, then right below it, server. That way you know everything's kind of in the right spot. You can pop up your old profile, and all that fun stuff should run perfectly fine with this. Uh, all you're having to do is just open up the let's see that's see it's got kind of like the windows 8 windows 10 ish fill uh you can pop it up in your profile there if you want we're not going to mess with any of that because i don't think i have anything set up with that yet um which i don't you don't need to is what i'm getting at with it so first things first as you can see you have your host name your server uh port, the query port, all the fun stuff that you're needing to get all that running, maximum players that you have in your, uh, that you want to have in your server, and of course I think the more people that you have in your server, the, of course as I stated in the other video, the, the more uh, beefier your computer has to be. Uh, then also a message to all domain users up over here in this top corner, as you can see, uh, let me make sure that I have I have my mouse up here. There we go. You guys can probably see my mouse now. All right. So, uh, host name, and then this is the message to all. As soon as they jump into the server, whatever you want it to say there, um, and, and you can have it customized, whatever you want. Set of rules, all that fun stuff. Duration of time. This is in seconds is what that is. Uh, player locations, crosshairs, global voice chat, proximity chat, no HUD, no tribe no excuse me no tribute download hardcore mode third person all stuff you can add on there um, obviously I have my admin password and my server password yeah excuse me <laughs> I have my passwords blocked out so you guys can't see any of that um, now this is a cool fact or little thing that they added into is the recon enabled um, uh, excuse me this, the recon enabled that they finally have put into the servers we're gonna test this out here I'm actually going to jump over real quick connect and um, hopefully that'll start up by the time we get through this uh, you can also click to allow custom maps uh, and that goes with some of the mods that we'll show off later total conversion mods uh, those are other various things in there too custom command lines, all that fun stuff. Down here it makes updating the server and checking the live server information super easy, super streamlined now. As you can see, my server is actually up and running. I have one person in the server, which is um, myself, that we'll show off later. The map is called the island, the original map, and the version of the server. The easiest this is the, this is the cool part about this guys all you have to do to update everything is obviously click the install update and it installs so much faster I cannot stress to you guys how much faster this thing uploads uh, or excuse me downloads the update and installs it than the old version of it I'm running off of Google Fiber as you guys know from the last video and this 
updates the server, it basically cuts the update server time to a, about a fifteenth of what it used to be. So it's fantastic. Uh, now we're going to go over to the rules and gameplay tab right here and it drops down more tabs as you can see. We're going to start with the general tab which again is all of the stuff for like XP, difficulty offset, day cycles, night cycles, harvest amount multiplier, all this fun stuff that you guys saw from the last one. Very much streamlined, they've updated everything here uh, on the sliders so that it's very much more accurate, very much more. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's a lot more accurate than what it used to be. And then it also, uh, dino taming speed, da uh, damager resistance, food drain, like where their health and everything drains. Then of course server settings to where you have access to how much, how fast the autosave works, server crosshairs, and some of the other ones that you saw on the server page, uh, along with some more in detail. Uh, like PvE, server hardcore, and things of that nature. Then next tab over we have player levels. As you can see, I have my player levels in my server to where my character, well everybody in my server can level up to uh, three, level 350. Then you have the Ingrams tab. I usually this leave this one alone because uh, I, as you're upgrading your stuff, you're, this just messes with when different ingrams unlock and funny things of that nature uh, so it it makes it just nice and easy streamlined against uh, along all servers to see what you've got unlocked and what you don't and you can tell what levels you have you can specify what levels that you want them to be um, unlocked at how much uh, ingram points are gonna cost you that sort of thing uh, I have not tested it yet you guys if it works with live update on this version of the server manager yet. I will do that and I will post in the description below after I have tested that out if that works. I know that was a question we got last time um, but again I haven't like I just literally thought of it as I was recording this video. So next up we have uh, dinosaur levels. Dinosaurs can level up to level 120 and you can go infinitely with player levels and dino levels in here too you guys so it's really cool and then dino spawns you can edit all of the different dinosaur spawns how much or how often they spawn and how many they spawn percentage spawns all that fun stuff then this is the raw input where you can basically copy and paste your files from your old servers into here or show the program where your stuff's at in there too so it's super easy uh, then over here is the cool mods tab. So any of the mods that you guys have in the, well, any of the mods you guys want in your servers that pop up in the Steam Workshop, uh, they all show up here. And you can basically click on each of them. I have a couple of them added over here, and then you just click install, update, activate, done. And then. Of course, to make sure that they work, you need to make sure you have the total conversion mod clicked and the custom map, or I don't know if the custom map mod one's important on this one, but I know the total conversion mod is probably what's required to get that to work. So, outside of that, um, yeah, those are the three main tabs. Up next is going to be the admin command. So we'll jump over to the game and we'll show you guys some of that real quick. So, as you can see down here, little black bar. Now, I already have it typed in, but you're going to type in enable cheats space and then your admin server password, or excuse me, your server admin password. And so, you see mine will be like right there, boom, and then you can type in whatever codes you want after that. All right, so as that comes to a conclusion of our video today, if you have any other questions regarding how to with either the Arc server launcher or any of the command codes, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed what you saw, please, please, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Make sure you guys check out some of my other stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
fly mode activated woohoo I can fly now fabulous right amazing you can check out the entire world this makes crafting or basically world building a billion times easier as we can all tell from every other game we've played like this that we're able to put in fly mode and uh, yeah the only the only trick with fly mode you guys is that obviously well it's not obvious but for instance we're gonna go we're gonna touch the water boom oh crap we're in the water we can't fly anymore 